Well, I have a traffic light for my shop. And today I'm going to install the controller. So this is a controller that I purchased and it has several different sequences you can select. Wiring is really straightforward. You have a white common wire that hooks to all of the lamps. And you have a green wire for the green, yellow wire for the yellow, red wire for the red, and then you hook the power to your ground, neutral, and line in. First thing I'm going to do is disconnect the power. And then I'm going to climb up there, open up the box, It has a power cord running into it already. What I think I'm going to do is put that short power cord on it, wire a plug on the end of this, so that I'll be able to take it down because right now it had this cord on it when I got it and I've just got it wrapped around all the way across there. Make it a lot easier to work on if I had to, I could take it down. All right, this is going to make it much easier to work on. First thing I'm going to do is lay this in here. Just see how much room is behind it. I only need enough room for this little box, but I want to make sure I've got plenty of space. I think I've decided that putting it all the way in the bottom is going to be the best. First I have to clean this up a little bit. Get rid of these jumper wires. I won't need these anymore. Well, if I can get them out of here. And I'm going to put all the output wires on the same side just to make it a little neater. I believe that will work with the little standoffs they gave me with the controller. They're just sticky pad standoffs, so I'll have to clean that up real good to stick them on. But they're tall enough so that it'll clear all of this in the back. Drill a couple holes along there so I can run a tie wrap through there. Then I will fasten the cord along that edge underneath here so that it doesn't tug on that if it gets pulled on.
and the red. The orange I won't be using because that's for a walk signal, so I'll just tie wrap it back up into the bundle. Now it's wired in and what I'm going to use is just US standard green, yellow to red and back to green. And that says setting one. So these little tiny switches. Have to be set to. Where'd it go? Setting one. 10, 43. Setting one, right there, that's setting one. And I believe it's already in setting one. Yes, first switch is on, all the rest are off. So we are in setting one. Back up away from it here. Plug it in and see what happens. We have green. Yellow. Red. And back to green. Also in the instructions it says you can rotate these three screws to adjust the time so they'll move faster. But that seems to be a pretty good speed for me. Now to put a plug on the other end of the cord and all right, up. I have a new plug put on the cord up there. Let's see if I can get this back up there without falling off the ladder or dropping it. All right, it works. Every shop needs neat little toys like that. And we have complete traffic control in the shop. Installing this controller was a fun, easy project. I hope somebody out there finds this useful. Thanks for watching.